we're trying to be as efficient as possible, but it, it is, the, you know, inflation hits all over the place. President Biden coming to Pittsburgh tomorrow and his focus will be on infrastructure. A bipartisan infrastructure law will funnel billions into fixing our area's top bridge, road and waterway projects. But KDK's Megan Schiller found out soaring inflation just made our project list shorter. Inflation's hitting everyone, even PennDOT. It seems like everything's more expensive, so money just isn't going as far. On the eve of President Joe Biden's trip to Pittsburgh, PennDOT warns high gas prices and inflation means money isn't stretching as far. Our projects were coming in at that time around 20%, 15 to 20% more than we had estimated them to be. So that takes a really huge hit in our program. PennDOT executive Cheryl Moon Sirianni knows everyone wants an update on the Fern Hollow Bridge, even President Biden. I will say it is, I'm sure, costing more. Late labor costs have gone up, you know, gas costs have gone up, um, definitely steel and, and many of the other materials have. PennDOT tells me inflation's impacting not just the cost for materials, but also trucking prices and compensation for workers to complete overnight road construction. We were looking to add some paving projects uh, and those paving projects may not happen now because we have to pay you know, for some of the other projects that are costing more. But PennDOT will still tackle paving projects on Route 8, McKnight Road, and Business 22 in Monroeville. The McKees Rocks Bridge will finally see a facelift and... The Fraser Street Bridge is another one that uh, is getting to start design, and we probably wouldn't have been able to do that had we not had an infrastructure bill looking forward, you know, that we were going to have money in a few years to construct. And inflation doesn't mean projects will get the axe just delays. When you have inflation like this, these projects have to get done. I can't say I'm not going to pay this road. The problem is I'm not going to pay it now and it's probably going to be paid in two or three years. She couldn't tell me exactly how much over budget the Fern Hollow Bridge project is due to inflation. And she said that's because it's an emergency project. So they've been paying it as they go along. But we can't expect an update on that project tomorrow along with President Biden's visit. Reporting tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.